we need to chop this Porsche race car in half. It's one of two tube frame boxers that can run legally in SCCA with an open top, and we need to save it. Now that it's inside, let's take off the outer skin so you can really see what secrets it's hiding. Oh, it doesn't work. That's odd. Hmm. Oh, wait. Are we, are we missing I have, something? I don't, have, I don't have my fuel ignition. The reason that we need to chop the car in half, the, 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 the main reason anyway, <laughs> is because the main hoop. The main hoop is a problem because it has been improperly repaired. I mean, technically it's probably safe. Because it has it. been repaired, yeah. Yes, it's that's not allowed. The, it needs to be one solid piece of tubing. Continuous from here, up through, around, and down, down to, to the there. bottom there. Thus, we need to chop this car in half. Right, yes. If you're going to replace it, it's kind of like open heart surgery. You can't do it without, you know. In order to pass tech, this needs to be one solid piece. While we're fixing that, we'll fix a couple of other things along the way. Just measure. <laughs> measure. Everyone's <laughs> gonna be the measured. We've been over how uncultured I am multiple <laughs> times in this channel. Scratch that. Till you get sore. Scratch that. Oh, whoa. That was a good one. Figured maybe it's a good idea to get the bladder out. <laughs> Got it? Nope. Hold your bladder, Tony. Got it. I'm holding my bladder. A lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? So I'm just reinforcing specific parts that may like move around after we cut this apart because we want to make sure that it's repeatable afterwards. The old like firewall area here of the center of the uh, hoop will be floating. I don't want it to move, so I'm just tacking some scrap here. Measurement's done. The measurement spots are punched and we've reinforced the chassis. I'm just really afraid. So like when people make cages and whatnot, now this is a tube chassis car, so hopefully this is not the case. It's always the issue of spring back, where like putting a cage together, there's a little bit of gaps. So they push it together and weld it. It puts tension on the cage. So when you cut it, it can spring back at you. I'm really hoping it doesn't happen. For now, I'm gonna leave this roll bar in and just cut off the back end. I did an oops. I trapped the blade. <laughs> Get out! Get out of my room! Oh, there <laughs> that worked. I have successfully cut a historic car in half. It's okay though, I have my notes to put it back together. They're very, very detailed. We got a template of the uh, hoop. So now, when we bend the new one, we can just lay this flat on the table and use it as a guide. I think it's time to get this hoop out and uh, clean up the ends. Of the uh, pipes here, that'll be uh. You want pipes? What is wrong with me? <laughs> pipes! They're in the pipes! So, anyway, uh, now it's time to cut out the main hoop and clean up the ends of the tubes. So, this, this tube here is one and a half inch. We're gonna actually make it one and three quarters because why not? <laughs> For multiple reasons. Well, number one, that when we oversize it, when we notch like these tubes, um, guess what? We can just notch it back a little bit further and be extra clean. And number two, one and three quarters is going to be stronger than one and a half. That's a fact. So the extra weight is non, non-negotiable here. Look, 
It went oh through my, my pants here. Went down and got stuck in my pants and burned my ankle. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's fun. You'll have that on these big jobs. <laughs> Grinding this out has not been fun. There are three tubes intersecting where the uh, hoop was, and also there were two layers for the hoop, and trying to grind all that out and have the correct diameter tubing fit there has been not fun, very not fun. <laughs> That's the most PG, YouTube-friendly uh, phrasing I can use for that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop there, take a break from all this grinding, and uh, set up the tubing bender, because the tubing showed up. It's always smart to start a project before the tubing shows up, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's how you're supposed to do this? <laughs>